Brand new mini box, brand new Yosenjus are here. Love it. There can only be one winner, and you're looking at it. Let's go. Yo Senju's with dual standby. The skill is very important for this deck, I'll tell you why. You start the duel with your opponent with an extra card in your opening hand. You cannot activate spell traps or monster effects on your first turn. Why would you not want to activate any effects in your first turn? Well, all of the Yosenju monsters on normal summon go back to your hand in the end phase. So if you want to keep them on the field, just open up with a single Yosenju, summon it, now it's on the field. Now, why do you want a Yosenju on the field? For Yosenju's secret move. And the TCG, they're jelly because they don't have the skill dual standby to keep their Yosenju on the field, but we do. So we could make the best use of this overpowered trap when a spell, trap, or monster effect is activated. Negate it and destroy it only if you have a Yosenju on the field, which you usually will not have because it goes back in the end phase, but thanks to the skill, we're usually always gonna have a Yosenju on the field. Now, if we don't have Yosenjus on the field, our other trap is Yosenju Sword Sting. So if you open up no monsters, which is very unlikely, or they deal with your monster, which will also be unlikely, and I'll show you why in a bit, you could activate Sword Sting with no monsters on the field to return up to two face-up cards your opponent controls. Return them by revealing Yosenjus in your hand. And because the deck is a full of monsters that go back to the hand, we have Drowning Mirror Force. With an open field, we could return their monsters or return them back to the deck. And then in addition to that, we have Clash. There's a trick with Clash. If you summon your Yosenju and it activates in the end phase to go back to the hand, you could activate Clash on the activation, not before, and it will be banished, come back on the field, and will stay on the field. If you activate it early, it will come back onto the field in the end phase, and then it will activate to go back to the hand. So on the activation, clash them. So that's another way, in addition to dual standby, to keep your monster on the field. Now, let's talk about what these cards do. Let's start with the hand trap. If you have a Yosenju on the field, you could discard Sujik to boost it by 1,000 when battling a monster. If they attack into your monster, discard the boost. Also, while on the field, you could plus 1,000 boost your monster. So if you on your turn want to boost up your monster without discarding your Sujik, just summon it, boost up your monster. Now we have Karma 3 and 2. They both share the same ability, which on summon, you could perform an additional summon. So you could summon Karma 2, then summon Karma 3, then summon Sujik, then Sujik can boost. So let's read what they do. Karma number two, 1800 attack, 28 with Sujik, 38 if you have a Sujik on the field and in the hand, very important to know that. This card can attack directly, but the damage is halved. So you could poke directly. They got a Cockatus in the field, poke, poke, poke. Then Karma number three. Karma number three says, if another Yosenju deals battle damage, you get to search your deck for any Yosenju card. The traps, the monsters, Search for anything. So as you can see, that combos with number two. You got two and three on the field. Poke directly with two, then search your deck for Sujiks or Negates or return back to the hand. That's basically the whole deck. Summon, 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 ba boost, negate, return, return, vanish, keep on the field, dual standby, love it, you'll love it, fools! The alt chocolate cake the ultimate chocolate cake thank you for that free prime connect your discord and twitch so you could sign up to get that spicy dark magician giant card which we will be announcing today or tomorrow it's coming word tech this baby is crying and distracting me while i'm playing a children's card game i want a refund word tech the baby is now your responsibility not mine whatsoever nine months congratulations no Refunds! Machine Nerd 2004 with the free Prime sub. Thank you very much. Connect to your Discord and Twitch. Get all your benefits. General help, deck help, replay help. It's all there. Do it. Do it! So we're going to summon Karma number two. He cannot negate the Sujik from the hand. I'm playing post-ban list. He's playing pre-ban list. 
Are you going to negate me so I can't attack directly? Okay, I can't attack directly. That's fine. Set. Set. Back to you. Stays on the field. Keep it on the field. Keep it. You want to take out the clashes for Rebirth of Parshath? You could potentially do that. Matrixter the baby is here and they look beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for your nine months. Enjoy it. Enjoy the responsibility. Now what's he doing? He's discarding a Nastin and a Banishment. Remember, they don't have just one Banishment. This is a cheater. He's playing three. Add Destroyer, Prime for 19 months. Oh my Jesus. Oh my Jesus. What do we have? We have Yosin G Sword Sting. Okay, okay. All right. Desire. Clash. Reduce my 1800. Now what, buddy? Now what? 200 attack. I do believe we win the game. Yosenju, sting him. Reveal. Reveal. Return. Return. Got him. Got him. Pre ban list. Dark Lords at full power. Full power Dark Lords. Okay, we don't got him yet. We don't got him yet. Wait, we still do, I believe. 59? We have a ton of damage. We got a ton of damage. How much damage do we have? Oh my Jesus. Karma. Activate. Into Sujik. Now, what's the most damage we could do here? I got 5,400 damage. I'm 500 short. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. We'll get him next turn. We'll get him next turn. The boost. Attack. Activate. Add. Do we want a negate or another return? Let's grab the return. Return. Poke him! Poke him! Okay, we got a clash, we got a clash. Back to the hand! Now, thanks to dual standby, the Karma 2 is stuck on the field. We want it stuck on the field. It could go to 28. Just 28. We can't double boost. No double boost. Contact, okay, he's going in. He's going balls deep. He's going, he's got the plays. He's got Superbia, he's got the summon. Summon, summon, let's go, let's go. Attack position, we got him. We got him, we'll clash him. We'll clash him. Thanks to Beatdown, that Ixchel. You see, with Tie That Binds, he would, she would only be at 2,700 attack, which means a discarded Sujik would deal with the Ixchel when he attacks. Wait. Oh, Beatdown's already nerfed. <laughs> got him! Yes! I thought we had to wait for the ban list. Nope. <laughs> Don't tell him. The skills are already nerfed. Love it. Got double sting. We got the sting. The sting. Set set. Karma. Activate. Sujik. Come forth. We got this. Ba, boost. Attack. Attack. Activate Karma three. Give me another Sujik. Another. There, there's no way he could win. This is exactly like clashing with a dual wield. We have clash and dual wield. I could clash and return. Clash return his entire field. Yes. Yo Senju defeating pre ban list tier zero Dark Lords. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right. All right. I'm not going to return Eggshell in the main phase so he could draw two. That would not be Q. Not Q. Morning Star would be annoying. Morning Star is not Q. Okay, no Morning Star. Morning Star. Set, set. 
and the turn. So this we're gonna do. We're gonna clash. <laughs> clash, banish, reduce, and return. Dual wield. One, two, back to the hand. Got him. Got him. Got, got, got him. Bye bye. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. And we got the drowning. We got the karma into Sujik double boost. This is 18 plus 15 plus 3,000. 18, 15, 3,000. What? How much damage is that? How much damage? 18 plus 15 plus 30. We have 6,300 damage. Nuts. What does that mean? Player is going back to Fortnite. Player is loading up the black hole of Fortnite. Back to Fortnite. Tier zero Dark Lords. Yo Senju is here. Get out of here. Get out. Going first, gonna have Karma number three on the field. Karma number three says if another Karma deals damage, you get to search your deck for a Karma. We're going to negate the invoker and destroy it. Negate. No search follows up with Palmerization. Polly sending a Geomancer and a King of the Swamp for a Cockatiss. What the? Attacks into our Karma. Going up to 2,500 attack thanks to Sujik. Sujik. Boost by 1,000. Take out the Cockatiss. 1,500 to the face. Now him dealing damage does not trigger his effect to search your deck for a Karma. What the? Gravekeeper's card. Return the Karma number three back to the hand. Gravekeeper's Lot searches deck for any Gravekeeper randomly. Randomly. Resummon the Karma. Now each Karma on summon, you could summon an additional Karma from your hand. So double Karma. Sujik, boost up the Karma. Swing in. Legacy Class, reduce us. Okay, we go back to the hand in the end phase. Whatever, we go back. That's how they work. Back to the hand in the end phase. Swing in, we don't want to drown that. I don't think so. Karma 3. Karma Sujik. Baboost. Baboost. 3,500 lethal. That's how you do it. All right, let's go. Thanks to our dual standby, our karma number two will not go back to the hand. Nephthys, destroy Yubel, add a phoenix. Yubel will now activate to summon the Terran Carnate. The main part of Yubel is the card coming out. This is the card you have to deal with. Every end phase on their turn, it will destroy all monsters on the field. Not good. Now he's going to follow up with a rebirth of Nephthys. He's going balls deep on his first turn for a Cerulean. Cerulean has the ability to destroy itself or any other Nephthys card in your hand and or on the field to destroy an equal amount of monsters your opponent controls. We're going to flip up a card, clash so he cannot even activate the effect. I do not want him to activate the effect. We're going to chain Yosinju Sword. Sword Sting on Chain Link 2. We're going to reveal a Yosinju, then return a face-up monster they control, a face-up card, Chainlink 2 returning the Terra Incarnate will make it miss the timing. It will not summon the Ultimate Nightmare. If you do it on Chainlink 1, it will summon the Ultimate Nightmare. So very good. Back to the hand. Drown him. I knew he'd attack, wipe the whole field. So that early clash served two great purposes. Number one, it made it so he could not activate his Cerulean to come back in the next standby phase because I knew he would attack directly. Number two, it made the U-Bell miss the timing. Miss me with that. Back on the field, and we got a negate. Sujik, Baboost, attack. Not quite lethal, lethal, 200 off though. My name is U-Bell, let's go. Return to add U-Bell. Now, how is he going to trigger the Yubel if we have a card that negates anything? He's going to summon, swing, boost, lethal. Yubel, mate, get out. Pre-science. That's how you know you're playing a goodie. Ooh, so many monsters in this hand. Not good, not good. But we get to keep the karma number two on the field. Summon, summon. Karma summons another karma. Now we do not have to attack the monster. We can go straight to the face. Straight to the face. 1400, it reduces the attack by half when you attack directly. This will trigger Karma number three to add a Karma card from our deck to our hand. We'll add another Sujik. Back to the hand, back to the hand. Poke him, poke him, flip up Spy. Negate the Spy, which you could only negate if you have a Yosenju on the field, thanks to dual standby. Gravekeeper Headman resummons the Spy face down the field. Naku, Naku. Number three, into Sujik, Baboost, 
Attack, Clash, Necro Valley Temple. What? My boost, 3K. Back to Fortnite. Red Eyes Fusion, so I knew that he'd be a fool. I knew he would. So we decided to outplay him. Super outplay, get ready for this. We could have him swing into drowning or we could have him just attack and then we're going to destroy the Red Eyes Slash Dragon. How are we gonna do that? Pay attention. Galaxy Cyclone takes out our drowning anyway, so if we depended on drowning, we would have been screwed. On attack, Slash will activate to equip a warrior from the grave. Negate! No warrior equipped! Fool! Down to the grave. Did not rip into a karma. Sujik by boost can boost itself. It's basically a 2,000 attack monster if it's completely by itself. Sets a card. Karma number two. The boost. Karma number two. Lethal over the face down monster. Yosenju. Zane Truesdale with a sanctuary in the sky. Oh my Jesus. We're not going to attack, we're just going to set, set, set. Yosinju boost, rebirth the Parshaft, negate our boost by losing 1,000 life. Negate the negate. Negate. I don't think so. Negate the rebirth, get the boost, take out the monster. Love it. Add back, rebirth the Parshaft. That's okay. Rip a monster. Rip a monster. 3K perfect lethal. Back to Fortnite. Yes! Love the negates. Love it. Keep your monster on the field. Negate. All right, he gets to go first. Monster set. We got Karma number two. He clashes our monster down. We down to 200. This is not good. Not good. Cosmic Cyclone takes out our negates. We wanted to keep our negate. Destiny Calling. He will now get boosted by 1,000 when attacking to a monster bigger. We're going to clash, negate that attack, reduce the other. He's going to chain... Mask of change, 28 to the face. We are in a whole lot of trouble. If he attacks directly one more time, we lose, which that's what Anki could do. So we have to take out the Anki. We got to do something. Karma three into Sujik. Sujik, Baboost, take out the Celestial. Search the deck for another Sujik. Swing in, Baboost, 3,500, take out the Anki. 1,100, back to the hand, back to the hand. Set, set. He's going to draw two Pot of Greed. Would you negate a Pot of Greed if you could? Yes, you would. Negate! No Pot of Greed! Scoop it! Yosinju, set, set, set. Set, set, set. Berry Magician Girl. Negate! I don't think so. Get that Berry Magician off the field. Out of here! Just Sujik by itself is 2,000 attack. Poke for every turn. Not bad, not bad. Another Berry Magician Girl into Chocolate. If we attack into Berry, she will summon a Chocolate from the deck, very likely. Sujik, Baboost, attack, activate, summon, Lemon. Attack into Lemon. He's going to redirect the attack. We're going to clash, then take out the Lemon. Easy! Lethal! Get them lollies out of here!